What's up? I'm Triple Shoot. Welcome back to a super quick video. In this one, I'll show you how to back up everything from OBS Studio. In order to back up your OBS Studio, hit Start and E, or the Windows key and E, to bring up this Windows Explorer over here. At the very top, click over here and type in percentage app data percentage and hit enter. You can also get here by going to C, uses your username, app data roaming. This is a hidden folder, so you'll need to click view, followed by show, and make sure that file name extensions and hidden items are both ticked. On Windows 10, you'll have a view button at the very top and these two buttons on the far right. Once you're inside of this folder, hit O and you'll jump straight down to OBS Studio. Inside of this folder, you'll have everything that you need for your current OBS configuration. So that includes all of your scenes here, all of your sources, audio settings, even the volumes of everything, effect settings, and everything down to the last little bit of output settings, stream settings, etc. even hotkeys. It's all stored within this folder over here. In order to make a backup of your OBS Studio, just copy this folder over here, or preferably zip it up and upload it to somewhere on the internet for safekeeping. That's it. In order to restore your configuration, just reinstall OBS Studio, make sure it's closed, unzip that folder that you backed up, or just copy this back into here, and bam, you're now using your restored OBS Studio version. You can even have multiple copies of OBS Studio's settings, like I do here, and simply just rename them back and forth to get completely different configurations in OBS Studio here. Just keep in mind that while most of everything is inside of this folder, including themes, plugin configurations, etc., some things aren't. For example, if we head into C, Program Files, and OBS Studio, you'll see that inside of here, in the OBS Plugins folder, we have all of our different plugins installed here. So your deck link, any camera plugins, etc. These won't be backed up, so this is also a pretty good folder to back up as well. Your OBS Plugins folder, if not the entire Program Files, OBS Studio folder folder as well. Just keep in mind that a lot of these plugins will just be drag and drop into here and they'll work, but some of them require external runtimes like NDI and the rest, and they'll need to be fully reinstalled in order to work properly. Also, also keep in mind that you may have added custom sources to OBS Studio, such as different audio sources or custom overlays, etc. Those may not be fully backed up. If you have custom LUTs, for example, applying to your camera, these could be located somewhere entirely different on your system instead of inside of the default folder. So while a full backup of the app data folder is usually enough, just keep in mind that some things in your configuration may require a bit more in-depth work. Anyways, that's it for this quick video. Hopefully you found it useful. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.